Hey everyone, John here from All Miniatures Great and Small. Today we're going to be doing a Warhammer Age of Sigmar unboxing. Now this time of year, um, Games Workshop has, um, now as a somewhat tradition, been releasing like Christmas Battle Forces, which are, uh, some of them are pretty cool. I'm kind of uh, currently cooled on 40k, I'm not really buying too much there, uh, but I do pick up the occasional 30k or uh, Age of Sigmar release, and with my daughter showing a lot of interest in Age of Sigmar, I thought I would um, add to my uh, Stormcast Eternals and also give me an excuse to unbox and review the Christmas Battle, uh, Battle Force for the Stormcast Eternal. So this is a Thunderstrike Spearhead, it's got 26 miniatures. It runs about $210 US and um, it's got some cool stuff in it. The reason why I, I picked this is because I don't really have um, any of these models in my collection. I have the uh, the ones I guess that came in the Dominion box set of these guys. We'll talk more later, but um, they're pretty good and you can have them in uh, different equipped in different ways. So, uh, but we see here, let's flip it over, see if we get a better idea and talk about what's in the box. Uh, starting with, you get two of the uh, Storm Drake Guard. And one of them you can build as a Knight uh, Draconis, which is kind of like a hero leader type character. Um, otherwise, you run him as like a unit of two, or if you t build him, you run him as a unit of one. Then you've got ten of the Vanquishers and 10 of the Vigilors. And these are the sword guys, these are the archers, and then you have three annihilators, which are one of the current hotnesses in the, um, you know, for the Stormcast Eternals. And this actually shows you, this is how they come in Dominion, kind of as a push fit with shields. Uh, but you can also build them just with giant, scary hammers, which I think I'm gonna build them like that. Um, just because I already have a unit of three like that. That way I have both options so I can field one or the other um, however I need to. We'll say uh, none of these boxes are uh, new. Um, all of these character or all these box sets have been out for a while with basically the latest or the last uh, Stormcast Eternal uh, Battle Tome. So they're, they're still relatively new. Um, you know, I kind of consider them in like, I guess like three waves. You have the original wave, which had like the Liberators. Um, then you had that wave with the, um, where they're more like uh, magic usury ones. I forget what they're called, the Sequiturs and those guys. Um, so they're much more draped in robes and, you know, those miniatures look good. And then you came out with these guys with the Dominion uh, release of uh, Age of Sigmar and the new Battle Tome, which introduced more dragons and these cool uh, models, which I think are some of the best Stormcast models yet in the, the range. All right, let's open it up and, and see what we get. All right, pleasing amount of plastic. We have bases, more bases. Looks like we've got some Interesting flying stands for the dragons. They're kind of like already pre-built. I haven't seen these before. They might be using them across the range, but that's pretty good. One's busted free of its protective frame, but I don't think there's any damage there. So we'll put those aside. And then we've got lots and lots of plastic. Let's Get the plastic to the side and look what's in the bottom of the box. Those obviously are the dragons. I guess there's a, a character in here I forgot to, to mention, but uh, those look like the Annihilators. And this looks like the character. Okay, then we have an individual instruction manuals for each one of these instructions for the Annihilator. Oh, let's get these all out and look at them. All at once, oh, we've got the bases for the, the Storm Drake Guard, that's what they're called. All right, let's take a little closer look at this. All right, so we've got the Annihilator instruction manual. 
and looks like it shows both versions shield and hammer and great big hammer as always games workshop knows how to put together an assembly manual looks pretty straightforward and then we have some of the stats on the back these guys don't move very fast only four inches a turn the shield guys get a two up save the big hammer guys get a three up save but they've both got three wounds so it's just nice okay then you have the the vigilor kit which is pretty cool you got the you know in this unit you've got like a uh, Vigilor Prime, which is kind of like the unit leader or the sergeant or whatever you want to call them. I like these guys. They've got their sword, they got their bow, they're, they're pretty much ready for everything. When they die, they zap you with lightning. Well, what's not to like? If this is your first video of me talking about Age of Sigmar, um, I'm not normally a fantasy guy. I don't really necessarily growing up wasn't uh, that much into to fantasy but um you know through lord of the rings and all that it's kind of softened on me age of sigmar is a fantastical fantasy just over the top crazy fantasy and i think one of the reasons i love it the, the models are for the most part gorgeous in most of the ranges um and the, the fantasy is just crazy um which you know i really like but you know okay there's a look at the some painted guys, you got their stats on the back. So they have this, I'm pretty sure that's for international, so you can do it for all languages, but shooting, you've got 18 inch range, two shots, hits on a three, wounds on a three, minus one rend, I believe, and one damage. Now these stats may have changed, um, you know, they, they have like an updated on your phone, an app for weapons but um i mean for units and all that good stuff um, just a great app by the way um and they it does let them update things more regularly and then actually that looks like if i read this right that's the sword they get two attacks with their sword three three minus one so they're they're pretty good with their sword too that's not too bad that's the vigilors which are the archers uh, let's take a look at the vanquishers all of these say read this first Let's see some of the cool vanquisher stuff assembly doesn't look very complicated uh, you got a variety of poses Looks like you got a musician a champion um, it's pretty good I mean and if I remember right reading about these guys these guys are battle lines so it's one of your your you know basic troop types they also uh, scale up like the number of uh, in the unit attacking them like if it's more than 10 they get an extra attack or an extra two attacks or something like that so they're really good at, at attacking large groups of kind of smaller creatures um, because the larger the group, the more dice they get to swing with their swords, which is cool. Um, they aren't, at least from what I hear, meta-wise, they aren't the top pick for battle line, you know. But I don't know. I think they look awesome, and for me, that's part of the reason why I collect. And then, okay, so this is the hero that I did not mention before. You get a knight. Relictor, which they have so many characters in the Stormcast Eternal range. I'm not sure what the Knight Relictor does. But you know what? I have my phone app right here already open up to Stormcast Eternals. Knight Relictor. Let's take a look. He's 120 points. 
Night Relictors are fearsome warrior clerics. I don't know if I have this guy or not. Uh, he's got a Relic Maul, which does three attacks. Three threes, uh, two damage each. Um, he can... Ignore on a 4 plus the effects of prayers on your units by enemies, it looks like. So, I don't know. I don't know how great that is. But, um, interesting nevertheless. And the model looks really cool. So, hey, props for that. Then we've got the Storm Drake Guard. Uh, this is the basically the big kit in here. You got two of these mighty dragons. And uh, like I mentioned before, you can build them a couple different ways. The Knight Draconis is a, like a character model. The Storm Drake Guard looks like you can give them big giant, you know, lances. Which is really cool. Looks like lots of different ways to build. Looks like they're assembled very similarly to the big dragon, Krondus. Uh, I guess you could equip them different ways. Looks like they've got like a lance or a sword, maybe. I feel like that dragon would have to fly pretty close to you to be able to whack him with the sword. You got the wings. And then you got the stats on the back, which is very cool. All right, let's take a look at some of the plastic next. All right, first up, you got this little guy, the Knight Relictor, um, just on one frame. I don't want to guess how much this is if you just buy it by itself, but probably around 25, 30 bucks. Uh, basically, uh, like it said, a, a cleric or a priest. Uh, protect you from those prayers but if you're facing an army that doesn't do prayers I don't know how much use he's gonna be besides whacking someone with his uh, his mace there so I don't know so jury's out on that guy all right then here we've got the annihilators these guys are beefy they are big big guys uh, if you play 40k, they're like the Terminators of the, uh, of the Stormcast Eternals. Um, and the uh, detail on these is really great. Now again, these kits have been out for a little while. They're not brand new, but they're brand new to me. And if you haven't played Age of Sigmar or you don't collect Stormcast Eternals, they may be new to you. But anyway, really cool. And you can see the difference in the hammer. There's like the the hammer that goes with the shield and then there's the big hammer that's the one I want to arm my guys with I've got trees that need to be knocked down I know they're not axes but you go with what you got all right next up we've got frames for I believe these are all the vanquisher frames are these identical frames they are identical frames so you can build two units of five or one unit, one super unit of 10, which they call reinforcing a unit here. Let's take a close look at one of the frames. We can kind of see what we're getting ourselves into here. Lots of cool stuff. I do appreciate these guys aren't quite as hard to paint as the last guys that had the robes and the chains and the whatnot. Those were very cool models, don't get me wrong. Um, but they were a lot of detail means longer to paint well, some good, good stuff though I got those cool looking swords I do like me some cool swords so we got two frames of that again 10 guys which is really nice then we've got the this one I'm never going to remember their name. Vigilors. Yes, there we go. Vigilors. And these are also? Yes, these are also duplicate frames. 
So we'll just look at one of those. You can play the Stormcast as a shooty army. In fact, if I remember right, meta-wise, that was one of the main ways to play it for a while. I don't know if it still is. Um, I have some of those boxes of the guys with giant kind of rifle crossbows that are pretty cool looking. Uh, but yeah, and then here you've got regular archers, and they're so, they have other archers already. Um, I forget what those guys were called. Judi Judicars? Like some of the original uh, box sets had some archers in them. But anyway, really cool. I like the proportions of these guys better than those original models. Although you can play them side by side and no one really notices. But yeah, they look really nice. Of any of the units I might build first, I don't know, either these guys or the sword guys. Or maybe the dragons, I don't know. They're all so cool. All right, last but not least, we've got the dragons. These are these duplicates. They do not look like duplicates. They look slightly different, which makes sense. Well, but you know what? Let's take a look at this one first. So you've got that great detail in those wings. Tail. Flaming sword for the flaming sword guy. There's the head. Yeah, he looks like a happy little fella, doesn't he? And then we've got the second one. So I imagine that frame lets you build the Knight Draconis. You probably swap which dragon you put them on. I can't imagine they they do that, but what do I know? Maybe well, it's like part of the dragon's head there. Again, those really cool wings. Shields. Love it. Love it. Okay. Very nice. All right, so that's a look at the plastic. Lots and lots of plastic. Well, guys, there you go. Um, a, at least for me, this is one of the, economically, one of the better box sets. And um, in my opinion, I really like it. Now, if you are collecting this and you already have these, if you don't need one of these units, it's probably, you know, maybe not quite as economically uh, sound decision, but I needed all these guys to round out my collection. I don't think I have any of these guys. Um, so like this kit by itself, I think retails at about $115. You know, each box of these is 50 or $60. I know they're like $60 or $50 by themselves. And then he, that character is probably 20, 30 bucks by himself. So you know that there's a lot more uh, value in this box if you need all the units and I think that these are some of the best looking Stormcast units that they uh, have in the game I think you know each generation of Stormcast is looking cooler and cooler and these guys are definitely really nice looking models so yeah I'm uh, looking forward to putting them together getting them out facing Kaylee's Sylvaneth Hopefully some of the other guys will, uh, after LVO happens, um, be able to throw down some Age of Sigmar, and you see that as well. All right, guys, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, please do consider giving us a like and subscribe. Click that bell to receive notification when we release new content. If you want to see more stuff like this, please do consider joining as well. Check out that uh, join button down below and see what a membership gets you. You know, all kinds of early access uh, emojis, badges, etc. As always, thanks for watching, guys, and keep on gaming.